What a day, boys. What a day. Today I was out um, doing some yard work, leveling some lawn and everything, and I was hauling a bunch of black dirt around with this old dump trailer. Uh, it's uh, something that my grandpa made a long time ago, before I was even a thought in anyone's mind. And I was using it. It works pretty good and everything, and I figured, you know, maybe I should make a video of it so people can kind of see it, and if someone else wants to try and make one, they could. You know, this was built back when um, men were men and kids were afraid of their parents. I know that's a hard concept for a lot of people to think of, but Grandpa was, uh, he was a welder by trade, and he built just about everything he needed at home. Um, he actually did a lot of work out of his shop there at home and and uh, sold it and everything and, you know, built his own stump grinders, wood splitters, dump trailers, whatever he needed, he built it. And, you know, there's not too many people around like that anymore that do that type of stuff. Now everyone just hires one guy to do this and, you know, one guy does the welding, one guy does the cutting, one guy does the drawings, one guy does the measuring and, you know, how it goes and you need a union for everything. <laughs> so... Anyhow, we'll get into it here and, and uh, show you guys what he's got. Four inch cylinder, uh, hydraulic up, gravity down. That is one thing. It would be nice if it were um, hydraulic down. That way, if you had a log in there that was kind of halfway slid out, it wouldn't, uh, you know, you could, you could drop the trailer down. You wouldn't have to pull away from the log, which it's not the end of the world. And I understand that if you did hydraulic down, you would have to re redo this. Uh, system here you know okay guys here's the uh, lifting mechanism it's similar to how a forklift mast works in the sense of the chains and everything i assume that's probably where grandpa got the idea but it's four inch cylinder um you know you got your chains come up and they come all the way down and they attach to the bottom of our uh, our dump box here and then, as far as the cylinder in here, Grandpa's got some channel iron. Can't really see that. In here, he's got some channel iron. That, um... Can't get my finger in there. There we go. It's a good pinch point. Got some bearings in here, just like on a forklift. This will ride down inside of this channel all the way to the bottom as the bed comes up. That way it's not, you know, it'll keep it fastened to the cylinder. It's not just dangling off by the chains, you know. The uh, cylinders then, it's a four inch cylinder, comes down, it's fastened to a piece, probably half inch, I think this is, half inch plate here. It's just bolted on, which is then welded to this pin, which this pin will then pivot. And then he's just got it in these uh, half-inch plate, um, whatever you want to call them, hinges or keepers or whatever. Uh, the frame, it looks like a five-inch. So that's that's the pivoting mechanism. Up here, he's just got his toolbox slash beer holder. And then uh, up here, he made up just your standard trailer tongue, you know, to go on a, a, a tractor hitch. Nothing too exciting there. Uh, back here, this is an old steering axle off of a school bus that he turned into a hunting shack, actually. But that's what that axle is. He just welded it right onto the frame here. And then he, uh... Like I said, I gotta be careful where I stand here. This is how you suddenly turn into two people instead of one. Um, he just welded these pieces, uh... It looks like half-inch key stock almost, so they can't turn, so they stay straight. He welded those on. Still the old tires off the school bus and everything that are probably 65, 70 years old. Still hold air, so good enough for me. On the frame here, he does have these little uh, key stops here. These little guys, little keepers or whatever you want to call them. On each side, they're bent out a little bit. That way, when the uh, dump trailer comes, there we go. 
that way when the dump trailer comes down here, those uh, keepers will kind of catch that channel and, 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 and set it right in home on, on, the, on the frame itself, you know, not that it comes down and gets a little off kilter and puts your stress on your cylinder there. So that's that. Um, you know, the bottom of the trailer here, you can see he's just got all this, uh, what is this? This is the C channel here for all of our support crossways. And then he's got, this is also C channel, four inch C channel going along the length of the trailer for our main, main, um, bed frame, I guess. So I just want to show you guys the, the rear pivot here. Uh, it's just a piece of bar that's ran through the trailer frame. You know, just holds drilled through the trailer frame. And then all it's through this uh, piece of plate that's welded onto the bed frame. Nothing fancy, no bearings or anything. Just, just like that. And I also wanted to correct myself. The trailer frame itself is actually tubing. It's not channel. Um, the bed frame is all channel. So. Nothing too exciting back here. It's just a box. Um, the sides are removable. I did that by putting these stakes on here with these pockets. So the sides are removable. You fashion these little guys up to make sure that the sides stay good and sturdy when you do put them in. He does have a tailgate for it. However, uh, when we got it from our cousin, it was not on because he, it makes it more difficult to, um, to haul brush and everything. And I just haven't put it on yet. So there is a tailgate. It's just not on. He had it set up here on these two pieces of plate that he welded on. That was the hinge, I believe. And then uh, he had chains on it so he could set it with like a half inch gap or I mean like a two inch gap, you know, and then he could dump and drive along and uh, spread gravel all the way along a driveway rather than dumping everything out at once. He put a hitch on here in case you want to pull your probably, I don't know, he probably pulled his wood splitter behind it would be my guess when he went out into the woods. Or whatever else. I don't know. I would just guess he pulled his wood splitter. And then, uh, yeah, on the other side, it's the same, pretty much the same thing. I do plan to cut some new boards for this. We just got this from our cousin uh, not too long ago. So I, I, I want to redo some stuff here. Fix the boards. Hit it with some paint on the outside. You know, make sure everything's greased, lubed, whatever. So, yeah, that's Grandpa's dump trailer here. Uh, if you guys do decide to try and make something like this um, and you want any measurements you know as far as how back the axle is or you know where your pivot points are or, or any any of those random measurements like that feel free to throw it in the comments or text me or whatever um, and I can I can get out here and measure them for you quick or if you have any questions about why you did something let me know I, I, I'll give him a call and ask him um, but yeah like I said I've been using it all day working great. If you guys decide to build one, good luck, and let me know if you have any problems. As always, like and subscribe. Let me know how you would do something different, or, or you know, try and learn me something. Hope I learned you something. Thanks, guys.